Hey, this is your host, Rick Houston. Before we get down to business in this week's episode, how about hitting those subscribe, like, and notification buttons? With all that out of the way, let's get on with the show. Well, it's Talladega 1996. Now, can you take us through that day? What do you remember? I remember, like most racers, I remember coming into the day, third or fourth in points, 99 points out of the point lead. I'd had such a great start to the sophomore year. Battled for the win at Rockingham, battled for the win at Darlington. And uh, just like everything is coming together. It's, you know, it just couldn't be any better. Uh, I was never real comfortable at Talladega. Uh, and uh, more so at Daytona because you really did have to work at it more. And Talladega was just so darn easy. Uh, uh, but there was a science to it that I didn't understand at the time, Steve. Um, I was running mid-pack, and, and uh, Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin got together. And I don't remember saying, all right, I got to go low. But instinctively, I turned away from the incident. And then a car came down. I think it was Ward Burden. And I went over his hood. And I hit the wall so hard. But I remember thinking to myself, I hit the wall upside down. And I remember saying to myself, whew, at least it's over. And what I didn't realize is I was in the air. Wow. Now, I don't remember anything after that until waking up. And when I woke up, I was vomiting. I had my helmet on and I was vomiting. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Steve Peterson was on the hood of the car. And they were cutting the roof off. And Steve Peterson, who worked for NASCAR for a long time, had a history uh, in the ASA series with Mark Martin and Ray Dillon, and a really good guy. He said to me, Ricky, what hurts? And I said, I can't breathe. And he goes, small breaths, small breaths. You got to fill your lungs up again. You got to fill your lungs up. And... I finally caught my breath and I said, uh, Steve, I got something came through the seat. It's sticking in my back. I got something in my back. Oh, and yeah. he said, uh, all right, well, uh, we'll get, we'll, we'll get the roof off. We'll get the roof almost off. We're going to get you out of here. You're good. Uh, and he said, maybe a couple minutes later, he said, Ricky, there's nothing in the seat. Maybe, Maybe a bolt came through the back of the seat uh, or something. You know, he, I don't remember specifically how he, 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 he dealt with it or legitimized my pain, but they got me out. Nothing came through the seat. They flew me to Birmingham, and I had a uh, compression fracture of my uh, uh, T3 and T4 vertebrae. And that, that, that sensation... Uh, it wasn't the worst pain I've ever had, but the, the sensation was exactly as I described when I, uh, when I, when I woke in the car, I said, Steve, I got something, uh, penetrated the seat. Something came through the seat and it's sticking in my back. That's, that's what it felt like. And, uh, I had a concussion, uh, but more importantly, uh, it, it had, it really kind of had a, uh, maybe a, well, really the rest of the year, but, but several months, it disrupted the whole season because I was racing in pain. I wasn't sleeping. Uh, I, I just wasn't effective after that. It took me a long time. 